Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Ayastak. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Today we are diving into Angular 17 and exploring how to pass objects and query parameters. This is a crucial skill for any web developer working with Angular 17. So let's get started. Before we jump into the code, let's quickly review what query parameters are. Query parameters are a way to pass information to different parts of your application through the URL. They are often used for filtering, sorting and pagination. In Angular, query parameters are part of the activated route service which allows us to access and manipulate the URL. First things first, make sure you have Angular CLI installed. If you don't, you can install it by running a command that I will show you on my screen. You just have to type a command npm install dash g angular slash cli. But before running that command, obviously you need to have node.js and npm installed in your computer. Next, create a new angular project after the angular cli is created. For that, you just need to run this command ng new and the project name. You can use query params or whatever you prefer. Press enter and select the default options once the project is created you can go to that project and open it your favorite editor i will be using the vs code in this video so i already have created my angular project with a basic hello world in it i have removed the unnecessary code from the app.component.html now we need to start the angular server in the browser ngs o that will start the server and automatically open it in the browser okay all right the server is now running now we will create a new component to demonstrate the passing objects in the query parameters so run a command in the root directory of your terminal that would be ng generate component user press enter this will create a new component called user component and you will also notice that a user folder has been created in the left sidebar now let's dive into passing objects in query parameters in angular we can't directly pass objects in query parameters but we can serialize them into json string first let's create a method to navigate with query parameters so for that open the user.component.ts file and let's add some code in there first of all we need to inject a service called router so you can inject that service with the help of the constructor or you can use the inject function. I will be using the inject function. So let's define a property router and call the inject function and pass the router service to that function. Okay. And make sure to add the import statements for both of these router service and the inject function. Okay. So after that, I'm going to define a function with the name navigate with query parameters. All right, now I will define a variable or constant user is equal to an object. And within that we will add some properties. ID one name would be anything John Doe and the email would be any random email example at gmail.com. Okay, now I'm going to create a constant with the name query params is equal to empty object and then I will give it a property user and then I need to save a string within that property. So I would stringify the user JSON object. So for that use the syntax JSON dot stringify and pass it the user object. Okay. After that, we need to call the navigate function from the router. So for that use this dot router dot navigate and pass it an array and within that array we will pass the route where we want to redirect user so i will redirect user to the user dash details and in the second argument i will pass the object that will have a property query params and value would be with the same name query params so this is a short form you can also write this but that is redundant so you can just keep it short and simple like this so here we created a user object and serialize it using json.stringify. Then we navigate to the user detail component with a serialized user object in the query parameters. But we did not create any route with that name yet and we did not create any component. So let's do that so that we can 
we can make it work and test it so for that run the command ng generate component so this is a short command you can type the complete words like generate or you can just use the initial letters of this command like g for generate and c for component and then the name of the component i want to generate user dash details press enter that would generate a component now in the app dot routes i need to i need to define this route so for that first of all i need to add a route for the user and the component would be the user component okay and after that i need to add another route with the path user dash detail and the component would be user detail component okay now in the app dot component dot html i have to remove everything and then i will add the router outlet so that all of these component could be loaded into this router outlet with the help of the routing so before we proceed let's just quickly see how everything is working so let me take you to the users route or user route that we created okay this is the user route so add slash user all right we are on the user component now now we need to add a button on this component so if user clicks on that button then we will call this function and that function will serialize this object and pass it in the query parameters and redirect user to a different route that would be user details okay so let's do that go to the user component dot html and add a button click me and here i will register the click event and then call the function navigate with query parameters okay save it all right you can see the button is there now if you click on that button you will notice okay right now it is not working i if i click on that it does not take me to a different route so let's see what's wrong go to the inspect element and it is saying that cannot match any routes url segment user dash details so if you go to the app dot routes you will notice that so we have the route user dash detail without the s at the end so but we were trying to redirect to the route with the s at the end okay so that was the mistake so let's go back to the user dot component dot ts and remove the s from it now let's try it again and now i will click on it and this time you you can see we are redirected to the user dash detail route and our user details component has been loaded and in the url you can see the query parameter with the property user and it has all of the values but right now it is serialized and you cannot read it properly because it is kind of encrypted or encoded so we have to fix it before using it so now let's retrieve and deserialize the query parameters in the user details component so open the user details start component dot ts and add some code so first of all i need to define a property user of type any and i need to inject a service with the name activated route so for that define a private property activated route make sure to import it from the angular slash router and we have to use the inject function to inject that service okay make sure to import the inject function from angular slash core now we need to define a constructor and within that constructor i will use this dot route dot query params that will give us an observable that we can use to subscribe and within that subscribe function we will pass our callback function that would be receiving a parameter we will name it params and we will use the if condition if there is a user query parameter found in the url then we will set this dot user is equal to json dot parse so we have to pass the params user so as we know that this is the stringified version of the json so we have to parse it first before using it as an object okay now let's display it in the console after doing that this dot user save it open the inspect element and go to the console and we can see object is back with the same properties email id and name we can display this user in the html template as well so let's do that here i will add a if condition if user is found then 
we will display user.name and we have the id and email so h2 i will display user.email and at the last i will display the user.id okay save it all right you can see that the data that was being received from the query parameters in the url we are parsing that data to convert it back to the json object and then we are using that json object to display the required data in the html template and there you have it that's how you pass objects in query parameters in angular 17 i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers also please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and also if you have any feedback or question or suggestions that you would like to share then please leave them in the comments section below this video i would be happy to reply them as soon as possible further i would like to mention that i'm also maintaining a blog for iastech so here on this blog i mostly try to write the written versions of all of these iastech tutorial videos so if you want to read the written versions of these articles or if you want to explore other useful resources from the iastech website then you should visit this website and learn something new all right thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video